Well, our first guest this week's with me in the studio, Brent Fouch is the founder of a company called Mind Solutions Incorporated. Their stock symbol is V-O-I-S. Uh, Brent, good to see you again. Thanks for having me, Don. Well, now we're, we've reinitiated coverage of the company, very exciting company. Uh, the business model is, is really astounding. Tell us what you do. What we do at Mind Solutions Incorporated is develop thought control technology. And what that is essentially is with the use of EEG technology, we read brain waves. Then we write software that converts those brain waves to commands, whether in a computer or a mobile smartphone. And then with those commands, we can control different actions on the computer or mobile smartphones. Now, people watching us right now are saying, gee, why is this guy wearing a Bluetooth? But actually, that's your uh, brain-computer interface module that you've just, you've just unveiled. Correct. We've been working for several years on condensing an EEG device, a brain-computer interface, that would be user-friendly, mobile, and as small and compact as possible. So we just uh, finally completed our prototypes. We recently just picked them up last week. Um, and this device is what we've come up with, which is a brain-computer interface that's wearable. It can be used for mobile devices, as I said, as well as stationary PC computers. And this device does use Bluetooth technology to be able to basically send the commands or the signals from your brain to the computer or mobile smartphone to cause those actions. You know, when, when I talk to you and I, I learn more about your company, I keep expecting Gene Roddenberry to come back from the dead and, and join us because this is so futuristic when you think about it. This is the kind of thing that when we were kids, we're thinking this is going to be 100 years in the future, but yet here it is right now. Yeah, correct. It is here and available. Uh, for a few years, we have already created uh, applications that can control the entire computer. So whether someone's disabled or normally functioning, you can control the entire computer, open web browsers, create email, write emails, send them with your mind. Much like voice recognition came in, um, thought control technology is really the next wave of the future of technology that assists both the disabled as well as everyday mainstream people. So, I mean, essentially, whatever you can dream, or in this case, whatever you can think with a computer or a mobile device, you can do using this interface. Correct. Um, really has m limitless applications. You can do anything from uh, turning devices off, such as a smart home, turning lights off for, let's say, elderly mm -hmm. market, um, disabled market, such as ALS or locked-in syndrome, someone who has a cognitive mind that can, that can function yet cannot uh, use their, their motor skills to mm -hmm. type or work on a, on a computer. Uh, what we've done is be able to make a device that can assist those people, um, do everyday functions on a computer like we all do, um, all done with the power of your mind. And I would have to think that even that there, you know, there's probably a market out there for people who are not disabled, just think it's really cool they can do this and they probably want to be part of this as well. Definitely. And a uh, division that we went into was uh, video gaming side. We've mm -hmm. created a program called Mastermind. And what that does is allows uh, someone to put a PC video game in, whatever game that is, whether it's Call of Duty or any other game, launch our program and hands-free be able to control the entire game on the computer without the mouse, without the keyboard, simply with the power of their mind. So they can essentially control up to six different actions, whether that's run forward, go left, go right, throw a grenade. Uh, it makes it really interesting and fun for video gamers. So there's many different segments. Uh, we do look to stick with the uh, disabled market as well as video gaming. And with our new device, look to make some, some mobile smartphone mm -hmm. uh, applications, just simple games that are fun as well as advanced uh, programs to help with the disabled. Well, I'm completely astounded how small you have it because even when you watch a futuristic movie and they show something that can control a computer using the brain, they put on like a helmet. And you would expect it's something like a helmet, but you've got it so small. I mean, that is amazing. Yeah, what we spent, it actually took us a lot longer than we had thought, but it was really condensing the technology down to something that is you know, consumer friendly, simple to use, uh, uses one dry sensor, so we don't have to go through an elaborate process like in a clinical setting, putting on a traditional EEG headset. And this is really the, the, the future, is being able to use this whenever you are in a mobile situation, whether it's picking up brain waves for your concentration in a golf game, um, different sports levels of concentration. Um, really, many applications can be done, and we made it as small as possible um, for that reason, to make it consumer-friendly, user-friendly, and for mobile uses. Now, as you mentioned, you have the prototypes now. How soon can we expect to go into production and see these hit the market? Yeah, we are going to finish a round of our, what we call our beta testing to test on all different software applications. We've already got EEG signal. We've already tested on software, so the devices are working 
uh, perfectly. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to finish that testing to make sure any bugs or any improvements we want are done. From the time that we decide to say go, it's about a 12-week process oh, okay. to do the tooling and the manufacturing. Uh, so sometime early 2015, these will be out on the market and available. Do you have any kind of a target suggested retail price of these things yet? We're looking at $199, which we've condensed it down. That price is not firmly set, but we're trying to make it as uh, affordable and available to, to the masses as possible, hit a critical mass with these. Because uh, the software that we write can really only be used by people using the headset. So we want to have as many of these devices out there uh, being used, and that way there's a bigger ecosystem for the software we create. A couple hundred bucks. I mean, I was fully prepared for you to tell me seven, eight hundred, maybe a thousand dollars. You can do this somewhere in the neighborhood of a couple hundred bucks. That's correct. That's, uh, that's our goal. And then the software we create, depending upon what application it is, can range anywhere from $49 on the low end up to several hundred dollars, depending upon what the application does. What I'm really looking forward to, and we're just about out of time, but you know, we're going to be covering your company for some time. I'd like to see a video demonstration of somebody wearing a headset and controlling a computer. So I hope we can do that here real soon. Uh, once again, Mind Solutions Incorporated, the stock symbols V-O-I-S. Uh, Brent, this is just fantastic. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me, Don.